Yeah. Okay, I am no longer bloodied, and then I am going to. Uh, What's up, Sting? Just do a, a viper strike on this kobold again, but I do not want to kill him. I just want to knock him unconscious. Okay. And as I'm doing, say, leave. Uh, I kind of shout out as I am attacking this one, saying, "Leave this one alive." Oh, that's a hit. <laughs> alright, alright, Sting. We'll do that. We'll do that, Sting. We gotcha. Oh, he goes down, he's unconscious. You you held your killing blow up, so you you know that you did not kill him. All right, everybody add 125 EXP to your sheet. Everybody add 125 EXP. Yes, you notice that uh, you know after this combat, the the bodies are are basically dead. They've been uh, drug off about 10, 20 yards to the north, and you found them, you know, off of the map. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull out some rope from my uh, backpack and tie this kobold up so that he is can no longer use his hands in any way and take okay. uh, take away his weapons and his armor and all that. I'll start cutting off the ears and all that. That's what I was going to do next. <laughs> Gim, <laughs> you wanted to search the war priest. Definitely. Uh, you found dangling around the war priest's neck. You found a a dragon figurine carved out of obsidian. Take it off. On the bottom of the figure is etched the outline of a skull with ram's horns. Have I seen something like this before? Uh, why don't you give me a religion check? Right one. Fifteen DC religion check. He'll recognize the uh, <laughs> the demon lord Orcus. Orcus. Now nah, the wheel's working. I just haven't been buying them. All right, so uh, in case you... Uh, there you go, Gim. Uh, 14, you're kind of scratching your head for a little bit. Uh, you must think that this must be some kind of demon, but you're not able to tell anything else. Uh, after, after I... Anything else little, on them? It's, it's worth pretty good money, though, you think. Though. Gim, you could probably get a little bit for it. You think it's probably worth about 80 gold pieces? Anything else on them? Nope. Uh, well, all of the corpses have uh, 10 gold. Basically a okay. couple gold apiece. So everybody can have a couple gold. Okay. I'm going to bring this over to uh, our uh, leader. And we're going to uh, put this in the pool. You know? Okay. Let's see if anybody else tries to uh, look at this, look at the necklace. If not, no problem. I'll hand it to them. Hey, Claire, <laughs> come over here. Take a look at this. <laughs> I love the the RP. Hey, Claire, get over here. What you got there? I got this off that uh, war priest over there. Mm, let me take a look at it. Okay. It's a uh, a necklace, and it has a dragon figurine carved of obsidian. On the bottom of the figure is etched the outline of a skull with a ram's horns. Well, carved with ram's horns on the skull. So, 
All right, so let's see. Let's do a uh, roll for religion to see if it's any, if it's affiliated. You most certainly can. She's got a pretty good religion roll, I think, so she might get it. Okay, twenty-one. I sent her a tell. Um, this is pretty familiar. It's... This is actually an Orca, uh, orca statue um, by the Demon Lord of the Undead. So, who is the enemy of my my queen? <laughs> what is he doing around in this parts? Bum bum bum. Um. Do we uh <laughs> see? Do we find anything else on any of the other goblins at all, or kobolds at all, Dave? Or is that it? No, you found ten gold. Uh, okay. You also found uh, just the necklace. It it looks to be worth about uh, about eighty gold. So. so does it does it look at all like the idol we found last time? On the last time we we were ambushed the day before. No, these are. This is actually a little different than the other ones. Uh, it, it's basically the same type of a obsidian, but it doesn't have, you know, the actual. It, it's the dragon. It, it has the dragon, but this one is different because this this actually has the skull and ram horns on the bottom of it. The other ones okay. that you guys found yesterday, they did not have that. All right. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh Take all the re take all the other kobolds that we've killed and kind of pile them up, kind of the same area we did la yesterday. And I'm going to take the ones alive but unconscious and, and put them right next to them. And I'm going to uh, take my uh, water skin and kind of pour it on them to, to, to wake them up. Okay. Got so, me, human. I'm going to uh, kill me. I'm going to talk to him in draconic. And uh, say, I see a. Uh, Killing my voice. You can do this one of two ways. You're actually worth more dead to us than alive. And I'm going to point to that cobalt and say, We could uh, take your ears back to the uh, town and get a nice bounty on them. Well, why don't but, you do it then? But Send I will, me I'll give to you a chance. Maker. I'll give you a chance to hope maybe get out of this with your ears. What, uh, where are you guys based out of? And I, I'm try, kind of trying to intimidate him is what I'm trying to do. I'm not really... Because I'm going to show him the other kobold, dead kobolds and threatening them, I guess. Why don't you give me an in intimidation, then? Okay. <laughs> I'll drop the head of my hammer on his Pitiful foot. Pitiful human! You drop your hammer on his foot. <laughs> nice, Gim. <game. laughs> I'm going to look back and say, Whoa, hold on, Gim. We want to be able to at least walk because I don't want to have to carry him. Ariothi, thank you very much for the follow. And I say that in common to him. You'll, you'll never take us. And he's hissing and, you know, coughing up a little blood. <coughs> Iron Tooth will kill you all. Who is Iron Tooth? He runs the show. Is he another kobold caster like the your friend over there that's in half now? How do I know you're not gonna kill me? I will tell you nothing more. You don't you don't know, but what do you got to lose? Either you're gonna die or you're not. Then I will not tell you nothing. Gut me now. And I'm going right. stick, to stick my head in front of his face and I'm going to smile at him. So I'm going to turn back to the rest of my crew. So, okay, guys. We got we to do something here. Why don't we... Uh, my idea is let's take, a, let's take this kobold back to Winterhaven and let them decide what to do with him. That Hell way they can... That's their, that's their decision. That way they can... Winterhaven! Ugh! 
Oh, the filth! Ah! They'll, uh, they'll get the satisfaction of doing something about the problem themselves. I would rather die than go to Winter Haven! Kill me! That's not your choice. You give us some info, then. Coward humans! At this point, Dave, I'll take some more of my rope, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie his mouth shut. Gag him, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so, my, my suggestion is we take this guy, we've, uh, we fought a nice little battle here, we're, we're kind of, probably a little, uh, pooped out and exhausted. Why don't we take this guy back here, let them decide what to do with him. That way they can, uh, it's their problem. I'm not ours anymore. We got a little bit of information. We know there's an iron tooth guy running them. And uh, All maybe, right. maybe, I don't know. Yeah, she maybe just got her uh, Maybe they'll be happy to be able to string up their own goblin for once. Get a little rest. Exactly. That way we can show them we're doing something. Now, I'm also thinking, too, maybe they'll have somebody there who's uh, able to get more information out of them, and then we get that information, and then that we're too. good to go. Hopefully, Lord Pedro will be appreciative of this, so. All right, I'll uh, I'll at this point I'll uh, I'll take the goblin or kobold, and they're, they're pretty light. I'll just uh, kind of keep them on my shoulder like a bag of potatoes, and uh, I guess we'll head back to Winterhaven. If all that right. else is all right. Yeah, I agree. You beating that kid over there? <laughs> What's going on Sounds over good. there? No, oh, they're playing. <laughs> I'm about to. I, I'm trying to get him to go to bed. Is what I'm trying to do. DDT him off the top rope. That'll get him to go to sleep every time. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're all out of whiskey. Or or just uh just let Zerker watch your kids and he'll just shake him. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. All right, so you guys want to make the couple hour trip? <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys want to make the couple hour trip back to Winterhaven? I would I would Winter suppose. Winterhaven, right? yeah. Anything else you guys want to do before you leave the... Uh, the before uh, we leave, I'd like to uh, take a short rest, guys, if we can. Yeah, uh, yeah you can take a short I, rest. I, I, yeah. And I want to make sure I'm right on this. Uh, the total number of ears that we got are four now, right? Yeah, we should get, we should have four uh, Yeah, four more. Five. No, we, we, the, uh, the five, five still, one still has one attached. Yeah, the one's still alive. Maybe we can get some more money for bringing a whole body for him. Why don't you just take both ears I'll go and get his ears. I'll go cut his ear off. Ooh. I like it, Gim. Alright. Okay, we, there you go. We I'm, I'm going to check, uh, oh, I'm gonna check I'm where I... I think last time I uh, marked some stone saying there was warning of ambush. I'm gonna, I just want to check and make sure they're still marked. Yeah, they're still marked. Okay, good. Just making sure. <laughs> uh, the two I times ambush look, spot, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, I'm also going to look around uh, where we were in all the, the bushes and stuff where they came from and see if I can find maybe a path or something that would head somewhere. You see, the, you, you actually... Give me a perception check, actually. I would like, I'd like for you to give me a perception check. Nature, perception, whatever you want to give me. Uh, they, All yeah. right. Yeah, <laughs> you, you're kind of just relaxing on your five-minute break, and you you don't notice anything out of the ordinary. I'll do one, too. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll say, hey, hey, guys, help me out here. We need to try to find the, a, a path to this cave. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. I like the RP on this. There's, there's a path around here. See, 4th edition has RP, guys. It's not just battle map after battle map, but there's... I'll make sure that's a nature check. There's RP. Gim. 11. That's a uh, pretty solid check. What is that for, Gim? That check at plus 11. Is that nature? or No, it can't be nature. No, that's perception. Perception is uh, passive perception. It's, it, yeah, it's yeah. not. We're not doing passive perception. This is a regular perception roll, so it'd be a two. Yeah, he would, But a, yeah. anyway, you're still at twenty one. So, Gim, you, you can see that to the south, 
you can see that there's a, a trail that's been walked quite a few times. And you can actually tell it's been traveled by kobolds. Yeah, exactly. So it doesn't matter. Over here. <laughs> they could be squirrels. Uh, I could just imagine the thing from the previous game. He's like, hey, I found squirrel tracks over here. Mm -hmm. Going this way. I found rabbit tracks. Oh, they was, he said it was squirrel. <laughs> if they were squirrel, they had damn big ones. Ancient Paul, what's up, man? So this, this, this is, I guess go over where Gim was and say and look where this trail is as it headed in the direction we want for the cave. Let me break out our handy dandy Nenter Vale map. What? <clears throat> Let me get this turn order taken care of and gone. All right. You see, Kim, the, you guys are here. Ambush spot. This trail is going south, and then it starts to veer to the west. Could be. Definitely could be uh, the way to the Cobalt Hideout. So now you're thinking maybe the old man wasn't crazy after all. Okay, I'm, I'm going to uh, mark the trail with, uh, I don't know, one of their one of their weapons or something, just so I can, next time I get here, I can, when we come back, I'll be able to find it again. Okay. Hey, uh, if you want, I can give you some chalk, and then we can write it again on uh, one of the uh, stones near us and be like, that way. Works for me. Anyone else want to do anything before we head back? No, I don't think there's much more we can do here. No, I'm good. For now. Guys, get into the lottery also. There's a lottery up, guys, if you guys uh, didn't know. I just seen one go in chat. You guys might want to get in it. But then after that, minimize your browser so you're not watching and listening. Uh, I'm not even in the channel. Oh, oh, you can get in, man. That's all right. All right. Yeah. yeah I'm so scared you're marking away. You yeah, you, you get it marked. You know, you mark up a couple bushes and you know, uh, make a couple into you know, less obvious marks and embark on trees along the road. Yeah, you, you you can get it set up. You'll know where to go when you come back. See if we can have another a third ambush of kobolds waiting for you. I will be someone, ready this time. I will be. Yeah, someone better pay attention to that. We're uh, uh what is it? <laughs> we're farming for exp. That's all we're doing. We're just that's leave it. The area, come back, get a little bit more exp, go back, come back. You're doing that re repeatable kobold intestines quest. No, the repeatable kobold ear quest. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right, so you guys get back to Winter Haven. All right. All right. So I walk up to the guards, and uh, are they the same guards we saw yesterday? Same two guards. They, we uh, got a present for you guys here. Oh, what do you and got? I, I unsling the cobalt off my shoulder on the ground, and say, "Well, we uh, caught, we ran to another group of kobolds here, and we uh, kept one alive for you guys to." Interrogate or do whatever well, you want. Well, looky there! What you got there? You got yourselves one of them little kobolds. <laughs> yep. This is one of the guys that's been causing you so much problem, ambushing you, everyone, and your caravans and stuff like that. Thought we might go take this to Lord uh, Paydragon and see hey, what he wants to do with it. Where'd you find this little rascal? Hey, Jeffrey, oh. put this one on the cart. A couple oh. miles down the road. Okay. <laughs> okay, Bert. Couple miles. Well, that's yep. not good. That's pretty close. Yeah, not that far away. Probably, yeah, probably about. I'd say probably six or seven miles down the road. <laughs> so, I think we could go uh, see Lord Pedrick and ask him what he wants to do with this thing. And he he points over towards uh towards his manor house. He should be at the manor. Thank you very much. And I pick my coal back up and. Sling him over your shoulder. Sling on my shoulder again, and <laughs> start walking towards the manor. Yeah, as you're, as you're, you know, walking through Winterhaven, 
you know, people are looking at you like, what in the hell do you have? And, and then, you know, the, the, the older women are like, oh, and the, the kids are like trying to, you know, jump up and touch it. And yeah, it's, <laughs> as I walk it, I, I'm kind of wi- not really whispering. It was talking soft and draconic saying, so what do you think they're going to do to you? Will they hang you upside down or cut off your toes or I wonder what they're going to do to you when they get a hold of you. P-Maz and kind I of as a, maybe Thank they you, make P-Maz. you look like me. Ooh, I'll soften and... up a little bit as I'm getting towards the manor. Ah, I'm much more beautiful than the tiefling. <laughs> He's hissing. That's one ugly tiefling. <laughs> At this point, I uh, start to conjure some fire. Oh, what did that sound do like? It just blub, under blub, his blub, face. Blub, blub, blub. Was... <laughs> well, did you pull the? Pull the. You, oh, you, he's, he's still gagged. He's still gagged with the rope. Then yeah, you, you don't hear him. Then he's just. <laughs> All right. So I guess I get up to. Uh, I guess that spot. Is there? Is there like a, a gate to get in there? To the in that gate, I think. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. There's the gate. You go through. A couple more guards. They they open the gate for you. Direct you. Right on in. Good day, right, sir. So. Hello, sir. We're uh, we're here to see Lord Paydrag. Ah. He's at the manor house. And they open up the gate. They they recognize you also. So they they wave you into the gate. They wave you up right up to the right up to the manor house. Yeah. Right. Uh, at this point I say to Peter, uh, maybe keep the cobalt out here, maybe one of us should go get the uh, Lord to come out quickly. Uh, sounds good, go for it. So uh, at this point I uh, go in, go see the Lord. Uh, go to the front door, knock. He answers the door. Ah, oh, back so soon? Did you bring more ears? I believe uh, some of my companions have his, but we have something maybe more special. Ah, if did you, you find any correspondence or anything? Uh, we believe we know where the hideout may be, but we've also... If you look at my colleague over there, we have one captured that he kinda you know looks up over your shoulder and he his eyes get really big. He's like, ooh, is he alive? He is, yes. Merely gagged at the moment. Ooh, he starts rubbing his hands together. He get seems like he's getting <laughs> excited about a li- having a live kobold in his presence. Uh, so at this point I uh, gesture to the Lord if he'd like to come over. And oh. I start to walk back. Oh. Yeah, he he walks out with you. And you can all see that he's taking his hands and running, rubbing them together and saying, Ah, so I see you've brought to me a present. Uh, that we have, Lord Pedrick. We uh, mm. caught this one along with a couple other kobolds outside and t- took care of the other ones, but we save this one for you guys. Mm, we'll have fun with him. And the, 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 the kobold's eyes are they look like they're fixing to burst out of his head. He's just like, his eyes are starting to like welt up and looks like the kobold is really starting to like sweat. You didn't even know that kobolds could sweat but this one is sweating. So We, uh, we found out a couple things from him so far. Uh, their leader is someone named Iron Tooth. We don't know. He didn't tell us much more about that. I'll, I'll go ahead and remove the mm. gag. So, and I'll say to the kobold, "Watch what you say. You're in the presence of the Lord here. If we don't like what you say, I'll." This put the gag is not on my you. Lord. Iron Tooth is my Lord. And then there is the Great One. And then he closes Great his one, eyes huh? and, and mumbles a, a few words. Bah, 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 bah. And he's whispering in, a, in like a very light draconic. You can't even understand what he's saying. What? He spe- it, he may be saying his his last prayer. <laughs> then he just Your opens Lord. his eyes. Is it Orcus? And who are you? Yo, who's, who's that? that? Yes, it is Orcus. Orcus, in time, will come back and destroy all of the Nintervale. We shall flourish with the undead. 
Not if oh. I'm You all die. Queen. Well, th they thanks for that, and then I'll uh, I'll go ahead and regag him. He tries to kick you a couple times. This is as he, I know he's bound up, and he's trying to like full body burrito as he looks like a a big burrito all tied up. He's trying to like kick you. <laughs> is he standing on the ground? Mm. No, I, I didn't hear him say you took him off his shoulder, so I, I'm guessing he's still up on his shoulders. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, okay. I, I slung him on the ground again. Yeah, okay. he's on the ground. Yeah, he's, I he's, took the gag off him. He's trying to, like, inchworm his way to you and, and kick in the shins. I dropped, oh, my, I dropped my hammer on his foot. <laughs> <laughs> he goes unconscious. That, Sorry, that, you can. <laughs> he goes unconscious. I, so... <laughs> Uh, well, we found out a little bit. We, looks like you might have a little bit of Orca's problem, too, around here. I don't know. Well, uh, if we find anything with this iron tooth, we'll let you know. But, mm. uh, we did find, uh, this figurine on one of the kobolds, and I'll show them the, the dragon figurine, and our, uh, our cleric here says that is, there is a symbol of Orcus on it, so I believe they, I believe he is at least telling the truth in that respect. Mm. That is grim news indeed. If Orcus is at play here, then we have more trouble on our hands, I, I feel. <clears throat> that is uh, that is very bad news. Uh, I, I, I think there, there may be word of a of an Orcus cult. Uh, something was mentioned to me several weeks ago. And I really took no heed of this word, uh, but now that you know proof is in the pudding, we have this dragon statue, you know that that is clearly representing Orcus. Um, I'm afraid that uh, I had, may have been a little naive. And he he really starts to kind of look a little worried. If there's an Orcus cult around here, it is my duty as a servant of the Queen Raven to destroy any remnants of the or of Orcus. Well, Lord, we, we, well, we won't know anything until we get to this uh, hideout and eliminate the rest of the kobolds. We just want to at least bring this to you so you could do what you want with it, so... I will. Will you be staying in in uh, Winter Haven for some time? We'll prob. We'll probably. Uh, it's been a couple hours, and we'll probably stay. We'll probably stay the evening here, and then we'll probably head back out tomorrow to see if we can finish this cobalt layer. Okay. Uh, I will take care of your accommodations at the inn. I will take care of that for you. Uh, you Much will be appreciated. My, uh, and it is much appreciated as well, Dwarf. Uh, we will, I will, I will talk to uh, Silvana, and she will have rooms for you. I, I know that you guys have already stayed there, uh, but I will take.